Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I'd like to welcome you all back for another video. Real quick piece of housekeeping, I ended up picking up my 75th subscriber. Whoever you are, welcome to the channel. Um, if you see this video, go ahead and let me know who you are in the comments and in my next video I'll give you a shout out like I try and do for all my new subscribers. That is when I know who they are. Anyhow, one moment guys. I have an itch. Okay, there we go. Anyways, um, as you can see from the video, I'm accepting the challenge for the two razor shave. Um, I was, but I wasn't tagged by anybody specific. Um, Flash Boredom was a bit worried that Justin, the Red Island Shaver, was going to uh, hit him in a tag when he did his two razor shave video. So he, in his words, he went ahead and he jumped before he was pushed. And he said, if you're a fellow YouTuber and you see this video, then you're tagged. So in typical... How I Met Your Mother, Barney Stinson fashion. I told him, challenge accepted. Anyways, so let's take a look at what I'm going to be using. One moment, guys. Let me take a drink of cold water real quick. There we go. Anyways, I figured, you know, I don't have two straights. Um, I got two Chevettes. But there's no way I was going to go ahead and do a two, two, two razor shave with a two Chevettes. Um, you know, I've seen it done with a couple of gems by shooting a shave. Um, and I've seen guys do it with double edge, regular double edge razors. Um, Flash did his head uh, with, I believe they were a couple of the, the Bakelite Phoenix open combs. I might be wrong, but I think those were what I used. So, I went ahead and I decided to go with one modern, one vintage. The modern is my Razor Rock 37 German Slant on the bamboo handle. And the second razor is another slant, and it is my Apollo, um, Apollo Slant. Those are the only two slants I, use, I own, so I figured it'd be an easy choice. The blades are going to be two brand new Gillette Wilkinson Sword Saloon Blades. These came out of a brand new fresh pack, never been open. So let me go ahead and load them real quick. First we'll load the German 37. Um, these razors do at least when I shave with them separately, they both kind of remind me of one another. So I figured, you know, do a side-by-side -side shave with them. We'll see how they work. Put this up on my little shelf right in here. Three, it is a three-piece razor, so you drop it on the top cap. Then drop the base plate on, or the guard, however you want to put it. And thread the handle on. As you can see, she's loaded. This Apollo has a couple of plating issues. Um, it's not as pretty and as shiny as the German 37, but she still gives one heck of a shave. I'll give her that. Um, it 
If you're new to my channel and you like unboxing videos, go to What's in the Box. It's either what's, no. What's in the Box, one awesome unboxing. Um, and, uh, you know, that's a couple of unboxings from um, viewers, of um, subscribers of mine. Um, one of which, the one that this Apollo came in, had like 12 razors, 12, 13 razors, all vintage. And this was the only non-Gillette one out of the whole lot. Anyways, as you can see, nice and nice. I thought about going with two Gillette old types, but I thought, nah, I'll go with a couple of slants. The soap is here in my Vanderhagen apothecary mug. It is the fine L Orange Noir, which was also a gift. The brush came from, well, it was a birthday gift from my son, but I believe my girlfriend had something to do with helping get it picked out. And it's this one, this little red and white Verma Shave forehead brush. One moment, guys. I'm back. I went ahead and I grabbed a washcloth, washcloth and a shave towel. Anyways, so let's go ahead and let's get the face wet. And, well, first let's load the brush. like to put a little bit of warm water over the orange noir because it is a triple milled soap. Um, flick off that proto lather. Okay, that's enough leather for now, I think. We'll let the fence. Yeah, Flash called his video. Two razors, two soaps, two brushes, and one full. Um, it was a head shave because, you know, he's kind of the Welsh Wookiee now with that big old beard. And, um, which, no offense to Wookiees or to Flash, I happen to love the Star Wars franchise and, um, Chewbacca is one of my favorite characters so or the welsh we'll just call him the welsh wild man i could never pull off a Full face beard because full face beards absolutely drive me nuts. And this little burma shape brush ain't bad. My girlfriend. Picked it up the street, picked it up, up the street. Work a little more on right?
I don't like it. I don't know if they even make these perma shaves anymore. they did back in the 90s they came out with them whatever company owned the Burma shave name at that time or somehow whatever made them and it's a pretty good little brush and it's not super super scratchy or you know super super scratchy scratchy like some board brushes are when you get them and um, it was brand new, wasn't used. So, anyways, go ahead and soak these two brushes under the heat. All right, so we'll go with the German 37 in the left and the Apollo in the right. Oh God. About ooh, nicked myself. Three days growth. Let me and see if I'm. Trevor, um, you mentioned in a comment, responding in a to a comment I made on one of your videos. Um, sorry about that, guys. Uh, you'll keep watching my videos as long as I keep putting them out. I appreciate the support. I appreciate that. I tried to respond, but for some stupid reason, my phone wasn't allowing me to respond to that one comment. So, thank you for that, Trevor. Okay. Not too bad. I didn't take off any skin. I don't think I'm bleeding, am I? Uh, so, can't really complain much about that for a first pass using both hands. That's interesting. That's very, very interesting. I'll say that. These fine soaps give have great, great slickness. Great cushion. Pretty decent residual slickness too. I will definitely say absolutely great residual slickness from fine. I can't complain. Triple mill, pretty affordable. A lot 
five triple milled soaps will run you more. Mondecondre is one that comes to mind is definitely costing you more. $60 range or so. Is that 60 is 60 bucks worth um, soap or is soap worth 60 bucks? Cross grain that Razor Rock on the left, Apollo on the right. Cost on the soaps go. Now, if you want to buy it, it's your wallet, it's your choice. I'm not going to say no. Because, I mean, I spent 140 on a timeless bronze. There we go. Hmm. Ended up catching my top lip with the Apollo. So I go. It happens. Yeah. I'm gonna hit it with styptic real quick. I don't know how bad it's bleeding, but it's stinging pretty decent. And that was my fault. I didn't curl my lip under. Good enough. Um, you know. mm -hmm. There. Um, if you're new to wet shaving and you ain't got a styptic, get one. They are definitely. Um, they're good. So let me give that a minute. But uh, so I'm gonna cut away here for a minute. That way to let uh, um, bleeding stop. I'll see you in a minute. All right. Yeah. So that styptic got down in my mouth. And it's a weird taste. It's a weird taste. Styptic pencil. So. You can also buy styptic matches, styptic gel, I think styptic powder. I got a straight razor shave one time. Um, I don't know if he used what he used. He definitely wasn't using a true straight. Um, but, um, you know, he did the whole thing. Stretch my face. Um, pretty nice. This is a pretty nice shave. I can't remember what it was because time I didn't know it was straight. I didn't know the difference between a straight razor and a chevette. 
so. But he got me close. He got me damn close. I'll give him that. He got me damn close. Mm, damn close. Okay, the uh, against the grain. So we're going to start here on the sides. Going up at an angle like always. In the middle. Oh, yeah. Lip. Yeah, I was watching this video fellow named his YouTube channel Franchise Kicks and he was unboxing a pallet that he got through a liquidator of Hang on guys to be really careful I did not want to catch my upper lip in that same spot so I'm gonna now I'm using the razor that got me Got myself again, damn. Not bad. Yeah, I think the Apollo's just a smidge worse than that, or more blade gap than 37, or 30, yeah, German 37. Anyways, but um, this guy, he was doing a um, palette and with these liquidation pallets, you cannot send them back. Once you get one, you're stuck with it. If you don't like what's in it, too bad. And, um, some things were decent. Ended up getting a Android smartwatch, which used goes for like 150 so it paid for the box. So, you know, and he got some snow pants and other stuff. But in one of the boxes, he's like, what's this? Is it somebody that actually, well, they pooped in a bottle, wrapped it up and mailed it back to Am and mailed it back to Amazon in whatever it was that they ordered. Um, it was absolutely nasty. I mean, what the heck it was completely sealed in a clear bag but i mean how's that get past people when they're putting together these liquidation boxes it don't make sense anyways um all right if you're sitting there going ahead shaking your head and saying tmi lance tmi i apologize anyways um i'll see you all back here for the post see you in a minute hey guys you know what that was a sweet sweet shave um no complaints. The two slants got me baby butt smooth. Got me down here really good, real close. Um, oh, that'll suck back in. Um, my head, of course, you know, nice and smooth. Got myself right there with the Apollo, but. Styptic pencil cleared it up. 
There we go. Got it. Um, yeah. No complaints. Nice and smooth. No. Very, very little irritation. A little irritation down here. Maybe a little bit right here. But I just shaved that without any soap on it. But, yeah. Great shave. Um, I call it great. Um, I still have all my parts of my face so hey shaving with two razors at, at the same time didn't turn out too bad so let's go on to the post which hazel dickinson's ever since i received a bottle of it in a piff box i just i mean It costs a little bit more than cheap stuff there at Dollar General. At least that's where they carry it in my town, here in my town. Um, the Dickinsons. You know. A little bit more than the, than the regular old Dollar General stuff. But, I mean, stuff lasts for freaking ever. Ever and ever. Anyways, so... The razors, really enjoyed it. Enjoyed using two of them at the same time. Um, you had to stop and think what she was doing as she was doing it. Couldn't just like blow through your whiskers like you normally do. When you're shaving one, it was a single one. Um, didn't have to stop and think as much as Shave and Butcher and any of the other guys that thought, hey, you know what, let's go ahead and let's do this two razor challenge with a straight edge or straight razor. So my hat's definitely off to everybody. Um Matty Lindholm. I haven't seen any of his videos yet. But from what I understand, he did a really good one with straights. Um, Shaving Butcher did it with two straights. Um, so anybody that does this challenge with straight razors, <laughs> um, no, I wouldn't. I won't be trying that one after I get into straights. Um, yeah, unless I get um, oh, really, really huge hair up my butt, but I don't see that happening anytime. Ever. <laughs> so, um, the aftershave balm was Nivea for sensitive skin. Love the stuff. But, um, the soap, Orange Noir by Fine. Absolutely love it. Love the smell to me. I pick up orange, coffee, leather. Not sure what else, but really like it. Really love it. Makes a wonderful, wonderful, thick, creamy lather. Um, and it takes forever to go through a puck of it. I mean, it takes a long time. And the brush, the Burma Shave Bore. If you're out and about and you happen to see one and you don't mind bore brushes, um, it's a good little brush. It really is. A really good little brush. For the aftershave, I'm going to use Florida water. <sighs> I love this stuff. Um, got a pit box from my friend Christian. The bottle is kind of lacking on a restrictor. Ooh, yeah, kind of lacking on a restrictor, but. Mm. God, the 
this Florida water, it goes really good with, um, what do you call it? Bearstrom and Bay Rum. Uh, it's just a really good match for those two. Because mm, Bearstrom and Bay Rums, you know, that, that, that. Some people call it medicinal, but I don't mind the Bay Rum scent. Gotta be in the mood for it. Gotta be in the mood for that, for that clove. But, yeah, I like it. But anyways, so yeah, that, folks, is the shave. Um, oh, and the blades were, once again, Wilkinson Sword, or Gillette Wilkinson Sword Saloon Blades. Wonderful blade. Love those blades. One of my favorites. Um, yeah, the, the shaving police came in tomorrow and said the only blade you can use from here on out is the Wilkinson Sword, Gillette, the Gillette Wilkinson Sword Saloon Blades. It wouldn't kill me. Um, might be a little bummed, but I could live with it. Anyways, so yeah, that's the shave. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, if you ever want to get in touch with me, you can via my email, justlance59 at gmail.com, or leave a comment here. Oh, tags, tags. Oh, before I forget those. Anyways, the first tag is for... I would tag Justin, the Red Island Shaver, but as far as I know, he's going to do it. So, Justin, um, looking forward to seeing that. Uh, I'm going to tag, um, what the heck? She shaves with Jill. Jill, I know I've tagged you at least once, maybe twice, but you know what, girl? You're up again. Um, let's see how you do. Um, the second one. I'll go with Steve the Daily Shaver. Steve, if you see this video, I want to see you do it. Um, the other, don't know if he will. He felt like he got injured in his home. Um, his hip gave out, and I guess he kind of went down some steps, so I don't know how tender or not he is. But Nick Searles of Searle Shaves. And... What the heck? I'm going to tag one of my newer viewers. Um, I haven't had a chance to see if he posted a video, a shave video yet or not on his channel. Um, but Gabriel Ray Sala, Salas Shave, or Shaves. Um, Gabriel, if you're up for the challenge, go for it, dude. Um, I want to see that. Anyways, that's my tags. Um, you all take it easy. And, uh, you know, um, if you come across Gabriel's channel, he ain't got a lot of subscribers yet. So, give him a little love. Anyways, see y'all later. Um, have a good one. And I shall see all of you on the flip side for the blade. Bye-bye now.